Hey guys, Joey Zero here, and oh my god, today I'm Space Ninja. Okay, so Warframe is a game that was recently released into open beta. Uh, it's still in development, so it's still an incomplete game, but it's one that I personally am really enjoying playing, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the finished game. It's free to play, it just won the best free to play at PAX, and is available for download on Steam. The story is not very well established yet, but what we do know is that you play a near extinct race of space ninja, known as the Tenno, fighting for survival against various factions of baddies such as militant cyborg race of humans known as the Grenier, a race of robots known as the Corpus, or a crazy plague bringing race of aliens known as the Infested. As you travel all throughout the solar system completing missions, you collect various mods, materials, and blueprints that you can use to upgrade or craft your gear. Let's start with the mods. Uh, as you level up your Warframe and your weapons, you unlock new slots for mods which you can use to make your Warframe or weapons more powerful. Upgrades can be powerful abilities for your Warframe, or upgrades for things like health, shields, weapon damage, magazine capacity, fire rate, stuff like that. The more slots you unlock, the more powerful mods you can equip. As you collect mods, you can fuse them together to make them more powerful. As far as I can tell, the game is a lot more about mod progression than it is about gear progression, and I've seen a lot of people running missions specifically to farm mods. The max level for Warframes and weapons is currently 30, but with the use of Orican reactors or Orican catalysts, uh, you can have a max of 60 mod slots for your Warframe and your weapons. As you go, you can collect newer or better gear to level from the market with real money, credits, or you can buy the blueprints to craft it yourself. Different materials for crafting different weapons or warframes are available in different systems, so you'll probably find yourself grinding missions in a specific area to pick up specific materials to craft your new gear. As far as where to get which blueprints, most are available in the market purchased with credits, though most blueprints needed to craft new warframes are only obtainable as drops from the bosses. Now onto the actual gameplay. Each weapon and warframe have their own strengths and weaknesses in gameplay. Warframes each have different abilities and different stats. Uh, you can carry one primary weapon, one sidearm, and one melee weapon that you can use in a range of different missions from defending a particular point or assassinating a system's boss to sabotaging enemy ships or raiding them for lost artifacts that they've found. I found the gameplay to be a lot of fun, basically running through the enemy ship or base, shooting or hacking away at enemies while you go for the mission objective, and then eventually fighting your way to the extraction point. You've got all the typical Space Ninja parkour abilities like running on walls, sliding, flipping, etc. It's obvious when playing that the devs also had the ninja stealth tactic in the works, but it's still very lacking and the devs have promised more stealth based action in the upcoming updates before released. Currently this game is nearly all PvE with no real defined PvP game to speak of, aside from the meta game on the leaderboards. Several players have requested it, but the devs have repeatedly said that they're new to a lot of the concepts that they're working into the game and really want to get the PvE game squared away before they even start to think about working on PvP. So unfortunately, there's not going to be any PvP showing up in Warframe anytime soon. All in all, I'd say the game seems very promising and seems to have gotten a lot of attention in the very short time since the release of the open beta. There are still a few kinks, especially at Endgame, where it's really just more of a farming grind than anything else. With the lack of a coherent story, it feels like we're just grinding our hearts out without much of a reason to. The Warframes can be a bit unbalanced in terms of how powerful they are in a mission, and there are still a few bugs that, while not that prominent, can still dissuade new players from coming in. Things aren't always clearly labeled or explained, and a perfect example of which is the mod system, in which I've repeatedly seen newer players fuse their Warframe ability mods together, essentially making their new and only Warframe pretty useless once it's leveled. These are some pretty glaring problems that the devs will need to fix before the game's release, many of which we've been told are already in the works. Even so, I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes of this game, and I feel like the devs have done a pretty good job of getting me excited about progressing. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, you can sign up with an account and download the game on Steam or at Warframe.com. Once again, my name is Joey Zero, and definitely keep on the lookout for more Warframe guides and update videos as time goes by here on Ace Games TV.